Hey, it's Butch at CCS. Today we're going to look at the TPI 570 ISDN primary rate test set. First thing we're going to look at is the interface that we use to connect to the T1. So there's two interfaces for the PRI. There's PRI A, which we'll be using, which has an Ethernet port, RJ48, and a two Bantam slot transmit and receive. And we also have a, a PRI B over here. We'll primarily be using primary A or PRIA to uh, get everything set up. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm actually going to go ahead and plug in uh, a cable. Uh, something that's basically emulating a T1. It's actually another test set. And you're going to see um, these lights over here light up on PRIA. That tells us what's going on with the circuit. So we got our BAGS light, our signal, and our sync light. That sync light's actually uh, the, it's, you know, we got signal and sync on the circuit. This ready light down here, which is not lit, that's going to be the D channel. When the D channel is synced up and ready, it's going to turn green. You're going to be able to make test calls. When you first boot this thing up, uh, most of the time it's going to be set up for a PRI. Um, and most of the time all we'll have to do is log in and, you know, type in a number. You may have to type in a one in front of it, depending where you're calling from. And pretty much hit that and then hit off hook. Here it's going to tell me layer 2, no sync. That D channel is not ready, so it's not going to make a call. And it's going to give me that, that error. Um, if I were to unplug the T1, and I were to try to make that call again, off hook, it's going to tell me layer 1, no sync, which means the T1's not even synced up with this unit. Uh, I'm going to go <coughs> and we're going to show you how to set, change the interfaces on the T1, how to change the test types. Uh, to do that, you're going to click Setup, which is down here towards the bottom. Setup. you got options. Framing, ESF, coding BHDS. You can set your B channel. You can set your <coughs> call control. And you can set it up. Is, is this a single or do you want to use both interfaces up here on the top? Um, so... And if you wanted to do a T1 test, like just a standard T1 BERT test, you'd hit that button. We're not going to do that. Um, if we're set for T1, it would say ISDN. So we'd want to, that's what we're testing, a PRI. <coughs> so if I want to change something, I'm going to hit this, this key right here. It says change. And I'm selected up here. Now I can go ahead and set this and accept it and be done with it. Or I can hit scroll menu. And that will scroll through each setting. So let's say I want to change my call control from DMS 100 to National 2, NI2. All I'd have to do is select that, you know, select Accept, <coughs> bam, we're set for NI2. Uh, that's pretty much most of the settings you're going to need to change. If you need an advanced option, there's actually a door hinge, which goes through all the commands. And you have your PRI commands up here, your BRI down here. Um, it's going to use a lot of the second function key. So if I wanted to set up my main utilities, I'd select second function utility. And I have, I have a whole bunch of different things. I can click this and then scroll menu. And that's pretty much all the options. They're set up that way. Uh, it's pretty much all there is to this set. It's a very basic set. Uh, 